one of the most affordable and impactful ways to give your home a fresh new look. But what about the wall that goes up the stairs onto the second floor landing? It's a difficult space to reach, and where do you start and stop the color? Sophie solved the design dilemma in this house in Quebec. What a gorgeous location, and this house is just so impressive. Most people think that the smaller the space, the bigger the challenge, but you know what? Big spaces have lots of challenges too. Oh, absolutely, and with a stairwell like this, the walls just go on and on. Where do you start and stop color is a big question. Yes, especially standing here looking at all that white, all the walls needed color. So I chose to do color blocking with a beautiful color, Deep Secret. Really nice treatment, Sophie. And I think it's very easy to do. It's just tape, so anybody can do it, whether they have a long wall, a small wall, and it's a great opportunity for an art wall. Yes, and to keep it consistent, what I did is that I applied the color 14 inches from the ceiling, so it doesn't matter when you have different height on the ceiling. It's still consistent. It's, it's still consistent. When it comes to the time to choose art, Pick your main piece first and keep the art around it more monochromatic. You want it to blend into the wall. You want it to blend in because color blocking is very dynamic by itself. So you want to keep it light, airy, and you know, not as busy as the rest. And even the furniture pieces, the little vignette, it's nice and quiet, the color is consistent. I think that's a wonderful opportunity in yes. such a big space. And then the ceiling is just stunning. I think that this color right there is the most important one because the architecture is beautiful, the lighting is beautiful, but everything was white. There was nothing supporting that light. So again, the color Deep Secret comes and warms up the space. a common problem and it breaks an unwritten rule about starting and stopping color at an architectural point like the end of a wall or a doorway which brings us around to this segment which is all about breaking rules breaking rules so we say and you're supposed to start and stop the paint when you get to that architectural detail you didn't do it in that home because that's the safe thing to do and if yeah. someone asks you what should I do to bring color and you don't see it you'll say you know what just start and stop make an accent wall it's very safe but you know what as designers we're trying to look at each space individually and go what can I do in that space so I love how Sophie in that stairwell area decided that you know what let's keep some of the white it's consistent with the rest of the space but color block yes so that's a really easy way to introduce color yeah. now another thing that we do and, and we've got some really great photos of this as well is just kind of picking what seems like an arbitrary line around the perimeter yes. of the room but if it works in this space you can see that the obvious thing would be to start the color at the beams mm -hmm. but no the decision was to put it at eye level, to kind of feel when you're sitting in your office or you're sitting in bed, you see the color, but then it actually really allows you to look at that beautiful it cathedral makes the space ceiling. Bigger too. It does. Yeah, it absolutely, absolutely does. It's a good it's a good thing. So you've got to sort of look at your space and see what makes sense for you. Yeah. Here's another rule. Break the matching sets. Yes. So <laughs> yes. usually you say break the matching sets. Yes. Because right. it seems like a copy-paste design. You totally. want to go beyond yeah. that. So if you look at this set here, I have an exotic buffet, yeah. mid-century chair, contemporary table, yeah. Indian-inspired mm, rug, but yet it all comes together. Yes. And I would like you to, know, to look at the base of the furniture. So I have black iron, mm -hmm. chrome, mm -hmm. gold. So I like yeah. when we break rules like that because when we find a piece, usually it's <laughs> chrome, yeah. You think automatically, oh, I have to stick with chrome. I have to keep on exactly. going in that direction. Right. Don't avoid it. Go beyond it. Okay, so the rule would be everything needs to match. Right? Yes, and you're saying exactly. no, no, everything does not need to match. You want to get a curated look. You want to get a curated look. And Sophie did a great job on this other project that was a century yeah. home, and the ceiling chandelier was 1930s. It's the only thing original in space, but bringing in the yeah. stainless steel countertop, yeah. the beautiful French chairs, the color in the space, it just it feels more modern. It brings it up to date. It yeah. absolutely does. Okay, here's another thing that we talk about all the time on the show. We're always saying if you're looking to get a paint color, you got to look around at the rug or look at the furniture. Yes. Yeah. Pick something from that rug and 
put it up on the wall, and then it's all going to make sense together. Yeah. And it's safe. Again. And we did and safe. It's safe. It's a safe way to pick color, but yeah. we can go beyond that. So yes. we did the exercise. We took yes. the exact same set, but we picked a gray that's actually in the in carpet, the and we put it on the wall. So, so it looks fine. It's yeah. beautiful. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's Safe. Yes. safe. Exactly. <laughs> it's really safe. Yeah. But I changed it for teal. So look at the before the after now. Wow. Look at what a difference. That's and beautiful. <laughs> right? That's beautiful. And what's important to notice here is yeah. that that teal is nowhere to be found in the accessories nope. or the chair. It's not there. That's so right. it's it all. brings all the furniture together. Yeah. And it creates a more refined design. And then, do you have to say the name because I love the way you say oh, the name of the color. Seraphonite from our Century Collection. Seraphonite. Sounds Seraphonite. so much nicer in French. <laughs> yes, it sounds absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Things, right? <laughs> love the space. I love the fact that you two are mavericks. You're little rule breakers. Yeah. <laughs> the rules are really for all of us out there that are sort of following. We need sort of right. a, a paint by numbers thing. Absolutely. But of course, there's an exception to every rule, just like the French language, yeah, right? right. <laughs> So we want to thank Mobilia uh, for all the furniture. Thanks, both of you.